Hey everyone, so this is another demo that I thought might be useful to share. Um, this 3D environment was randomly generated in Moto using Scott Robertson's technique. And um, basically I did a whole bunch of these and I thought this one looked pretty cool and decided to finish it in Photoshop. The whole thing took me maybe a little less than an hour. Kind of went off on a tangent at one point and kind of ended up spending a little too much time and ended up scrapping that whole thing. So here we go. Um, basically painting in Photoshop using the selection tools. Nothing too different than any other style painting I guess. I tend to use the marquee tool a lot just to get some crisp edges. <coughs> Uh, so basically I have like an image that's the same underneath this one that's a little darker so right now I'm just erasing out dark areas and basically softening the shadows I guess. And uh, went to the internet found this decent image that I thought was pretty cool. I don't know. Pretty much replaced the whole ground plane. and just pretty much erase everything that I don't need. I didn't really spend too much time looking for images, just the first one that I thought that kind of like fit the area, kind of one with that one. Same thing with that one. Figured that kind of give it a little more depth if I paint in a background behind this big random structure. So basically the idea is this big structure is in the middle of a desert. I'm refining the shadow here that's cast by this thing. So just a selection tool and then a soft brush. I think I'll let the layer on normal. So just using like soft opacity or low opacity. Here I put on multiply. Brought the darks up a little bit because this mountain's way in a distance. a couple of more rocks underneath this thing or smaller rocks so this is the point of our model well I should probably add some kind of scale so this had to draw like a camel I was going to do like a caravan of camels but ended up scrapping the whole idea. It's kind of sometimes a quicker way to draw is just to, I don't know, draw a silhouette of the object using the marquee tool and then just go in there and start painting or doing whatever you need to. So I guess it's like one way of painting that you guys could see.
at this point I wasn't too concerned about the camel, how he looks and like all the hair on it, so because it's gonna be like super tiny on the image. But again I end up spending a little too much time on it. First thought was maybe like some kind of alien camel making blue. That didn't look cool, so changed it. Same thing here, maybe like the rider himself off the camel looking at this big thing. I'm trying to get the scale down. Here I'm just trying to come up with a cool way for him to stand out. But since he's wearing white or some kind of like lighter colors, it's kind of hard for me to um, get him to pop like I wanted him to. So, kind of tried a couple of different ways, didn't really like it, kind of got lost in the image itself, it became too busy. And uh, instead of put a plane in there. Again, just drew a silhouette of a random plane, didn't really think too much about it. Um, found a helicopter that was online and just set it as a layer mask and just threw them in there. And then just duplicated it on top and tried to get a cockpit in there. Thought that looked pretty cool, so kind of went with this. Again, this is like a random way of working. You could generate lots of these different ships if you just move the, I guess, the helicopter inside of it. If I was to sit there and actually draw, it would probably take me maybe an hour or so. But just wanted to get this done pretty quick. So just playing around with different variations of it. You're just basically fixing the silhouette of it. Still don't really like the cockpit now that I'm looking back at it. Should have got rid of the, the back one, might have looked cooler. And I'm thinking where I'm going to be placing it and trying to light it according to uh, where it's going to be placed. Uh, did I put another layer on top of it and just threw some dust over it? Well, used the color that's on the ground, kind of like painted that over, and now I'm erasing out. So if this thing's been flying around in the desert, maybe like it was too close to the ground, picked up some dust and dirt. Kind of helps it set it into the environment so it's not like this brand new plane that's flying around. It's kind of playing around where I could place it in the scale of it. That seems like a good place. Um, created a drop shadow, just like this circular drop shadow. And applied um, a motion blur to it. Going left to right. And set the layer to multiply. And then another layer, well, maybe there's a, you know, leaving a trail. And I think I apply a motion blur to this to show a little more speed. Then think of aperture too. So if I don't want to get into like photography, but if you're taking a, a picture of something that's flying by, it kind of ends up being blurry. 
Um, set up a little shadow of, um, of the trail. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Just brought it down so it's easier to see. Should have blurred that a little bit, but it's all right. It's kind of getting lost in the big environment still, so decided to add some red highlights on it. Red always helps to pop anything you want out. And going back and trying to fix that back cockpit a little bit. Kind of blurred them already, so it's kind of hard painting while it's blurred. You don't want it to stand out too much, so I think go in there and like blur it a little more. Um, did a stroke around the whole thing. But it's a little too big and chunky, so I think we did it with uh, with a one, and then the race wherever the light's not hitting it. And some more highlights on it. Desaturated a little bit, <clears throat> but it was getting too overwhelming. Um, here, it collapsed the whole thing and went into color balance. And just playing around with the different settings here, trying to make it feel a little more alien than it really is. And I just wanted to add some atmosphere to the whole thing. Giant dust particles flying around or something like that. I think I push them back so they're not overwhelming. Maybe some that are like super close to you, are out of focus. And at this point, I wanted to introduce a foreground element. So I tried a couple of different variations of it. Kind of like that, but it was too symmetrical. So I ended up putting a couple of more verticals in there, basically. And did a motion blur. And just the value of it. So it's not so black basically. And I think I bring it down a little bit so it's not too overwhelming. And that was it. Hope this helps.